Hey my friends, Josie here and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about having an out-of-body experience. Now, in my opinion, it's one of the coolest things that you can do. You actually live in your body every single night when you're sleeping. But what if you could consciously recreate this experience? Now, your life will never be the same because you see the world as one. It's the most incredible feeling. You'll understand that you are not your body. You are the spiritual being. You can still feel everything. You have this perfect conscious awareness about everything. I don't insist that it should be everybody's you know, reality. If you want to experience out of body, go for it. If you don't want to do this, don't stress out. <laughs> but in this video, I want to give you a really simple technique so you can give it a try and see what happens. So the only two things that you need for this experience is patience and intention. You want to give it a try. You want it bad enough so you will work through the difficulties and challenges and achieve great results. Now, everybody's out-of-body experiences are different because, you know, you come with your own baggage if you are dealing with a lot of inner fears or anxiety. So fear of separation sometimes can block you from really stepping out of the body. But if you're patient, if you have the right reasons for doing that, you will be successful and it will be the most healing experience of your life. Now I speak from, again, my own practice because having an out-of-body experience is that's what allows me to speak about spirit nature because I know we're not physical beings, we're all spirits. But you only can see the evidence of this when you go through out of body, when you look at the world through the eyes of the spirit, you know, then it all makes sense. The first thing that you need to do, you need to affirm to yourself that you can have an out of body experience, that you prepare in your mind, you put yourself in the right framework, which will sort of the intention of creating an out of body experiences will be possible. So just feeding your mind with the affirmations. I'm having an out-of-body experience on Thursday. Thursday is the day when I'm having an out-of-body experience. Now you can choose any day really, but you have to make it really, really specific. You have to be prepared for this to happen. So then what you need to do, you need to place a visual clue far, far away from your bedroom. Now in your house, it could be a magnet on your refrigerator. Just buy some or prepare something special, place it right on your refrigerator. It's a magnet. It has to be colorful, it has to be different, it has to be noticeable. So then on the night when you go to sleep, so it's all things are done, you're preparing your body. And when you are just about to fall asleep, you'll feel that conscious awareness kind of slows down when you're less and less and less aware. But you're still present in your body, right? You're still aware of your reality. You're not deeply asleep. Now, this is the time when your intention is being kind of triggered and you say, okay, now it's time for me to have an out-of-body experience. And you surrender, you relax completely, 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 and just allow things to happen. So then what you're waiting for is for your body to have some sort of sensation of numbness or some sort of a paralysis. Now, this is an important moment for you to keep on going, not to allow the fear to separation to just appear and mess it all up for you. You want to be fully relaxed. So when you achieve this state of kind of conscious awareness of your body being asleep, that is gold. This is the very precious moment. In this moment, you have to command to your soul, to your spirit essence to stand up. Stand up and be very, very firm with this. And you stand up as, and move yourself about two feet away from the body. You'll be aware of every single sensation of everything that's happening. This is the coolest thing because you'll see that the body's not doing any thinking. That your consciousness is what's creating your reality, your experience. So when you're just kind of 
moving through the body and placing yourself two feet away. Remember, it's just you. You look exactly like you look in your real life. Imagine you don't have a physical body, you have the energy body. It looks exactly like you, just to make it really simple. But then when you're there, you can see your body way. You can see the body right there lying on your bed and you're here. Then the next step, what we will do, we will say if you're in the bedroom, we will move towards, say, the kitchen area. Remember, we placed a magnet right on the fridge and it's waiting for us. So we will start to move. You'll subconsciously to move towards the kitchen. You can go through walls. You can open the door. You can float. You can do this air walking. But you'll be aware of all of these actions that are happening. Then when you get to the kitchen, I want you to see that item with your spirit eyes. Just be aware of that. It's in front of you. You can put your finger on it. You can touch it. Again, this is one of the most important moments because that's how you know that you've been there. That's how you know that your intention is taking you there. And when you achieve this state, when you can actually move around your house, later on you can go anywhere you want when you still have this conscious awareness. But those little steps, one step at a time, Again, it's important not to rush things, to be patient, to have no fear. So then when you wear it, just give yourself a credit when you're in this altered state and yes, I'm a spiritual being. My spirit is awesome. I feel everything. So now I can go back to my body. Again, you can walk towards the same place where you started from, not in your body, but in the place where, from which you started your journey. So that place when you were standing, when you just jumped out of your body, you were right there. Just go back to that place. Say, that was great. And now I'm going back to my body. In your intention, just give yourself a command. Back to the body. Back to the body. Boom. You feel yourself back to that place when your body having these kinds of sensations of numbness. But you can slowly, slowly Start, you know, kind of having connection with your fingers, with your toes, you know, breathing, feeling your body again eventually fully, head to toe, having the skin, the feeling, oh my God, it was amazing. You can have this every night. The more you do this, the more successful you will get. You'll have no fear at all. You will lose the fear of death, <laughs> of dying. It will be always you look forward to it you can meet your spirit guides you can meet angels when you are traveling anywhere but take this at your own pace be patient with this you know if it works for you great if it doesn't work for you that's okay just keep on living your life and focus you know on your own well-being so here we go guys let's see how you have an out-of-body experience hope this video was helpful <laughs> if you want to share your experiences do put them in the comment section below and I'm sending you so much love from my heart. Be well. I'll speak to you in the next video.